It's a, an extraordinary opportunity and a really kind of heavy moment for me. Um, I knew it was coming, but I think arriving here, seeing this gorgeous facility in my own home state, I've seen a lot around the country, but to walk in and say, hey, this is, this is home, it feels surprising and, uh, and almost emotional. To think of these students that are learning to do their thing on this stage, I just think about how many places they'll play afterward that pale in comparison. <laughs> they'll be very spoiled. So um, this is state of the art. It is really grand and uh, beautiful, and it's an amazing thing for this university. I just found out outside that this particular um, establishment it has educational programs for kids all the way from kindergarten through grad school. So it's, it almost makes me jealous that I can't go back and start again and have it all, but, but my path was what my path was, and now I'm so excited for uh, the, the generations to come and the ones right now my nieces and nephews and their kids. and um, So it, I'm really excited for my state. I grew up in Elk City and uh, when I was five years old, Susan Powell became Miss America and she was from Elk City as well. And I remember just hearing that information. I remember that she was an opera student with a woman named Florence Birdwell and something inside me just fell into place. I, don't, I never changed. I, I played sports, I went to school, I made friends, I did the musicals, but I always knew I was going to go study with this teacher. And pretty sure enough, I became a singer. Uh, you know, my grandparents loved music. I grew up in, a, in, in that world of records playing and things like that. Um, so I did. I studied at OCU, OCU with Florence Birdwell. Um, and then it was kind of a, a naive jumping off a cliff for me. I didn't have a job. I didn't have a place to stay. I packed two suitcases and I stayed on a friend's couch and I moved to New York. Um, but I had gotten a degree in opera, which didn't help me that much <laughs> in the musical theater world. So I enrolled in acting school in New York. And the acting and the, the singing came together in musical theater. So the opera kind of went by the wayside for a while. And I, I started auditioning and I just believed and I, 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 couldn't, I certainly couldn't come, with my, come home with my tail between my legs, so I just kept working. And here today, I come back and I sing a classical program with the New York Philharmonic and that's probably one of the most proud things I can admit is that I, um, it's all coming back home for me. I'm going to sing with Florence Birdwell in my head teaching me classical music um, but in my home state of Oklahoma where I didn't think it would necessarily be popular. The arts are a way for all of us, it's, it's, it's a uniter, it's a common ground, we can all love it for different reasons.